Oh yeah, this is the ticket. See, I just dug in there yesterday, and that's that's freezing hard as a rock. But this ain't up here. The sun hit it a little, where I had this cave in. You can see it's the top. There's freeze a little, but I can get down in here. Man, it's windy. The wind chill. It's 30 degrees with a teen wind chill. I'm bundled up, but well, I need to get down in this hole so I'm out of the wind. So I'm gonna get busy digging. Try to get down to that marble layer. Um, I'll be able to do it. We'll find a little bit of stuff. This will be a, a rough day But I might find something awesome. You never know later. Yeah you know, That stuff caved off air and a lot of that I found Back in my videos right over in there is where I found I mean last That's been like a year and a half ago I found so many marbles right in there that it's just ridiculous and you can see this flat came out more and I've done all this there's a, a couple other people that look here, but they haven't been looking. Now it looks like a cat eye. I've only got down this far, and look, there's one of these little blue multi-sided things. I take these, Noxzema. You know, I clean them up, put them in box lots. But right here, looks like a cat eye. Oh, it is not. This is a good. This is worth the trip. Oh man, let me get that off. Right. Oh, I'm gonna have to rake through all this. Look how good it looks with it kind of froze. Man, I got one already, folks. First 10 minutes. Well, you know, look at that smoker. Green like Coke bottle glass with wisps all through it and a patch on one side. That's just awesome. Well, I'm getting back down here. And I got a marvel now, I got this. You know, I have 50 of this jar, but people buy them. And you'd think that was honey, but I'm pretty sure that it's a drink. Um, I looked it up before. It says snow crest beverages, Salem, Massachusetts. I think it was some kind of honey flavored kids drink. And it's a figural bear bottle. And it's old, it's from around World War II. They're desirable, but you know, a marble's way better than this. Um, at best at a flea market you get like seven bucks for this at best um they're usually a five dollar so cleaned up but i have boxes of them in my basement and i found them all in the past year and a half i find them regularly it's cool though huh look you can see it there it's very cool matter of fact oh here's a coke i don't have it's in nice condition and it's akron ohio I'm finding stuff, you know, I got a milk out of there, man, it's cold. Wind chill, but I'm down in this hole. When I stand up out of it, it's rough. Um, you can see a lot of burnt layers in here, and I just had this, it's just cave in after cave in. But I got rocks above me, I'm gonna have to watch. See, it's not good. To get down to where I was at yesterday, it's gonna be a chore. I'm gonna have to just gradually tear this off to get to it, which stinks, I'm digging by myself. Hey, do you see that? 
I just got an embossed milk product that's awesome. And look at this layer I found. It was real hard packed in here last year. I'm gonna get a cave in here, but man. I'm gonna find some stuff today again. I'm not where I was at. You can see, I'm, look at them layers back in there. There could be anything suspended in this. And this is like a sour cream container or something like that. And it is nice. Look, it's Isley's. And it don't have any damage. Let me wipe it off and I'll get back. I'm finding blue bottles in here. I got that Coke. Could have had another milk and I got one nice marble. Which the marble is nice enough that it's worth just coming up here for that. But look at that slug plate at Isley's. And it says something West Virginia on it, I think. Oh, it does. It's got a town name on it. Youngstown, Ohio. All right. It makes it way better. Yep, Isley's. Youngstown, O. Oh, this is nice. A big eye on the bottom, and how I don't find many of these different style. Look, it's like a milk, but I'd say it's like sour cream, or it's a different milk product for sure. I've seen these before, but this is nice. You know, Isley's is a bigger corporation, but this is a nice one with a town name on it. I've never seen this. Registered, let's see if it has registered 211 um, MTC I in the back didn't have nothing but that's a day maker that would not look awesome with my milk collection for sure and I got a slick milk and you know I'm gonna find some more stuff but it's rough going today I'm gonna stay a while I'm gonna get you guys a video I know a lot of you can't look um, you're older and can't be out doing stuff like this and believe me I'm going to be to that point soon enough, and we're all going to be in the ground soon enough, so I'm just going for it well. Hey, I'll film this coming out. That kind of looks good, doesn't it? It's a crown top. Probably one of them stinking ketchups. No. No, this is a soda. Huh. Man, I was right to pull that out, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, and look here. Man, I'm in a good spot. There's an old Coke see what this is first that bottle there straight sided like probably a sistersville one yep sistersville west virginia but man it's nice man i'm fine i didn't think i was gonna have much luck today at all i really like that isley's because it says youngstown on it i'm gonna have to wrap that up but let me get this cleaned off man that's aqua and everything Newville, Pennsylvania. I've never found this. Return to Cloverdale Spring Company. Newdale, Pennsylvania. Man, this is nice. I don't have this bottle. Oh, right. It says the town name on both sides and it's even embossed at the bottom. We're just getting filthy today, folks. This bottle not to be sold. Man, this is, oh, it's got to look at the clover leaf on the bottom, a four leaf clover. It's my lucky day, folks. And you know, the marbles are better than this bottle by a long shot. You know, if I find a Christensen agate marble in here that's unique, it could be worth 800 bucks. This bottle is probably worth 10 bucks. But, you know, you might get lucky and get 20 for it. If you put up real gets a four leaf clover, that's awesome. And the color's nice and it's a cool find for free. And it's one we don't have on this channel. Newville, Pennsylvania, that's nice. It's a unique bottle and I like it. If it was clear, not so much, but it's got that nice aqua tint to it. I'll clean, it's perfect too. I'm glad I pulled that out. Let me load up these good finds and I'll get back. Man, I'm doing good. This looks pretty good. Oh, look at this, folks. This is a pat. Hopefully this ain't broke. This is a real old mason. Oh, we did her again. Rocks always comes through, Danny. This is an 1858 mason jar with a cone top, and it looks perfect. All right. Right in here is where I was digging them marbles. And luckily it caved in on me, kept caving in. So basically what I did was go into the hill up here farther where I knew 
it wouldn't cave in as bad but that rock you can see one just came down here and almost hit me and that will put the hammer on you and even bottles rolling down these hills hitting me in the shins in the summertime when i was really hammering it you would have seen my shins i had bruises all over them a bottle rolling 20 or 30 yards it's bigger um hitting me in the shin bone hurts man this is a nice find mason's pet november 30th 1858 beautiful aqua you can tell it's just perfect condition i'll get it cleaned up as i love these you know that's 20 bucks on the internet every time you find one and they're only going to go up in value because how many of these are whole out of the ground not a lot of them i find 20 broken ones to one hole and this one's laying right there on the base play see i'm finding green bottles and stuff man what a good day already i might be i've been here two hours but i don't know maybe not that long it's freezing probably hear the wind and see it whipping there the wind chill factors down in the teens my gloves are starting to get wet luckily i have another pair i can switch them out once your hands get wet in this you're in trouble um i'm gonna be cold walking out of here but this is worth it every day it's worth it that i come and just work hard i find stuff later never found this jar before i didn't really look at it when i found it it says mason's apostrophe and there's a six right here Mason 6 patent, November 30th, 1858. I've never seen it with the 6 on it, ever. I've not found it. See the 6 right there? So I'm getting pictures of this stuff. That's a good find. It's a variation of that jar I've never found. Good one for the channel. Later. I think I see a marble, but I can't tell. I think right here. Let me see. Let me get it cleaned off and I'll be back. It's on a filthy mess, you can see. <laughs> All right, this is awesome. It's like, it's not a cat eye. It's like, a, the, this might be a German wire pool handmade marble. Um, it's just got wisping all through of like cream and the condition's just awesome. I'm so filthy, I can't clean it off. It's just going in my pocket. It came right out from where that mason was at. And look at some of this stuff coming out. There's an old Insta Hemingway. There's a cork top prescription. I'm in a good area here. Later. It's Ellis Quick Dry Waving Fluid. Dr. A. Ellis Sales Company Incorporated Distributors, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And it's a cool bottle. It's like 1930s. That's cool. I find them a lot though. I'll get back at you. Well, I think I got something pretty good showing up here in the wall if it ain't break. Um, you can see him bossing on it right there. Let's hope. Oh, it looks old. Looks like another milk product and it's embossed. Huh, I wonder what that says. Oh, it's all embossed on this side too. Something. Let me get it cleaned off. This is another day maker. Man, I'm on it today. Look at look at these layers. It's like right under the burnt layer, there's a layer of clay or something. And there's stuff all through it. Let me get this cleaned off. This looks awesome. So this is another like sour cream container. And I've found a meadow gold milk before. And then on this side it says silver sill. 16 ounces LTD. And on the bottom it says 32. It might be 1932, it sounds about right. Meadow Gold, that's nice. You can see all this other stuff. I would have really liked to have this turtle. Some kind of ceramic turtle. Like a snapping turtle too, but it's all broke up. Um, look at this blue bottle. It's got gold gilt all over it. It's probably a perfume. You can see the other stuff here, but man, I like these embossed milk product things. I don't have many of these sour cream ones and I got two of them today plus an 1858 mason jar a nice sick mineral water bottle from Pennsylvania two nice marbles that look beautiful condition to get in that frame and it's just I mean in the teens wind chill it's cold but I'm down in here I'm kind of out of the wind and it's tolerable Later. let me wipe this off I got another marble this is what I'm here for See if you see it. I just barely saw this one, but I rake, I just now raked it out. I would have seen it eventually. But 
right here. Uh, it's an alley swirl. All right, let me wipe this off. This is nice. So I got three marbles now. I'd say I've been here two hours um, digging hard. You can see right there is where I was at yesterday. I moved up in here and I'm raking through this stuff. And there's, you know, I'm doing good. Let me wipe it off. All right, it's a red and white alley swirl. It's real nice condition. It's going in the pocket. I wipe them off and then I get put them in my pocket and I, I get so dirty I have mud in my shoes and mud goes down in my pockets by the time of the end of the day I pull them out they're muddy again <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in here there's a ball perfect mason dropped out but it's been in a fire number five that stinks but there's whole stuff in here I'm gonna try to get a few more things I'm freezing I'm all muddy again but it's worth coming and just busting butt try to find all you can and digging hard because you're gonna find stuff on the dump well, if you watch regularly I just found a Sloan's liniment with a cork top in the last month that was blown in a mold it's the oldest one I've ever found this is the most common one I find you know that's still pretty old it's at least 80 years old it's a screw top one um, that's pretty cool we'll take it this uh it's break man that's an old bottle oh i was right on that one that's you know that's an applied lip i think you can see i've oh that's an old bottle man that stinks I'll get back. I'm raking in here. I'm not going to stay too much longer. Here, I'm getting the sniffles. I'm raking the direct line of fire of wind whipping around this hill. Later. I'm glad I stayed. Do you see it? Woo! All right, I'll show you some of the stuff I'm finding. There's stoneware coming out in here. Lots of little cool bottles. That even has the cap on it. It's brown. Got that blue bottles, old bottles mixed in. It's... I mean, this is on a hill like this. I can barely stand here. There's other stuff down here. I gotta get this stuff cleaned up so I don't lose it. There's just fa stuff falling out. I won't take that, but I just got a nice marble. Man, unless it's not broke. All right. All right, it's got that turquoise. Uh, let me get this cleaned off. Later. Man, this is absolutely beautiful. That turquoise color is translucent. You can see into the marble and the condition's awesome. And the swirl pattern on this is, look at that. Oh man, if I can hold on to it, it's hard with these gloves. I'm just putting it in my pocket here. I'm having a good day, folks. Real good day indeed. Didn't think I was gonna find much. Later. Yeah, I just raked this out and I didn't know what the heck it was. I thought it was a big, ceramic chest piece or something but it's a salt shaker look at that it's all there too we'll take that you know not my cup of tea but can't leave it here Later. i think i just got a mo absolute month maker um don't know if you can see this this is a black marble with white and this ain't common i think this is something awesome let me get my glove off and i'm just gonna wipe this well i will give you a preview here oh my goodness Oh, folks, this is a good one. This might be like a pelty, pelty or zebra or something. Oh, my, this looks good, folks. This is worth a month of digging for me to get one like this. This is a valuable one. This is way better than that hot suit yesterday. Not even seen ballpark. Later. Oh, yeah. This is the ticket. It's not black. It's so dark a purple that you can maybe see the purple. It's so dark a purple that you you can only see it right around the edge of the white. I can tell. It's just, oh, this is nice. This is awesome. This is awesome. This might even be like a Christensen or something. This is awesome. Man, fakes. I'm going to stay a little bit longer. I'm freezing. But I'm going to try to suck it up. I'm finding awesome stuff. Later. And there's good stuff all in this wall. Here. 
Ooh, what's that? What's this? Oh, oh no way! What this is? Oh no way! Right when I was ready to go and doing my closing video. Another wheeling bottle. Stratford Springs, Wheeling, West Virginia, and it's going to be dated on the bottom. Please, let me get it wiped off. A lot of these have cracks, and I don't think it is. And it's going to be dated 1930-something. Oh, it's an early one. I just found a 28. Oh, right. Yes. I'm going to have to... More rakes in here. This place is loaded. And when I first dug in this area, the ground was dry. And that burnt layer felt like concrete. And I really couldn't get through it. And I didn't want to tear it out with a, like a, a matic or something. And it's, the ground's wet and I can punch through it now. Oh man, these Stratford Springs bottles are dated. They're awesome. And I have a whole collection of them. And I sure as heck don't have 1930. I just found one that was like a 28, a big aqua one. But all the other ones I have are like 35, 36, 38. This is the second oldest one I have. Let me wipe it off and make sure it's all there. Lay down. All right, it's perfect. Capacity 8 ounces. Stratford Springs. Registered. Stratford Springs. Wheeling, West Virginia. This bottle, not to be sold. The bottle is property of and then... You know, Stratford Springs. Man, and it look, it's perfect. There's no lip chips, there's nothing. And other awesome fine folks. I'll try to suck it up and stay another 10 or 15 minutes. But my standing on this wet ground and getting that, my feet are, I have on two pairs of socks, but it gets to the point where, look at this bag of stuff, it's full. And these are all nice bottles. Jars, nice stuff today. And the marbles, that black marble is insane. Insane. All right, see, there's a bottle right there. It, it didn't look bad. There's just bottles coming out, but I haven't dug too much longer, and I've just hit a wall. And I have to be alert to be able to see them marbles. And I'm sitting down now, and i got to be standing up and raking through this stuff twice, so I'm just leaving. I'm going to go get pictures of that stuff. It's going to warm up tomorrow, so I'll come back here and dig. All the snow melt's going to raise the river. I'm, I'm going to go look at it in the morning. If I can get out and look up high in some places, I'll put in an effort to find some points or, or something good. If it's down over where, lower where I found that silt, um, if you go back in my videos, I found a little pentagonal on the silt and some flake tools and stuff, and that was a good little beach. I, I still have some sifting to do there and the water's been over it. If it went down some, I'll go there first. Then I'll come here. So expect me right in this area finding vintage marbles and nice milk products and bottles and the chance at a real old bottle because I'm going to try to go deeper in here and I'm going to get this mess cleaned up and rake. The marbles are nice enough here that I have to go back through all of this stuff. Um, I'm going to have to look through all of it again because that black marble's worth some money. You just don't find stuff like that too often. And I'm finding them because I'm being meticulous and looking through this stuff, you know? I'm setting down and raking and right on it. That's why I find coins and wee little things and I just don't go for the bottles because I don't really, the bottles are okay, but the marbles are what I'm here for and Crocs. And I found, let's see if I can find it. I set some crock pieces here. So yeah, there's salt glaze stone wear in here. That's a piece of a little crock. Oh, it's sick. But I, you've seen me find them. You've seen me find beautiful ones. But you can see what I did here today. I took a lot of dirt off here and raked through all of it. Threw a bunch of it over there. But I got tired of carrying it on the shovel. I try to clean it all out so it's down. But... I gotta get my saw here. I'm just buried that again. You wanna keep this stuff. Some of it's melted, but man, I did good. Look how deep I am. And I've taken 10 feet off this in the fat pass, so I'm like 13 feet below the ground. I'm by myself, so I can't dig a 10 foot hole and get down in it. Cause if it caves in on me, I'm dead. There ain't nobody here to dig me out. So I gotta, I gotta think about what I'm doing. 
we'll take this um i gotta be careful you know i shouldn't have been crawling in them holes last week um and yesterday i won't be doing that um i'll try to make it safer see there's the hole i was in there's real old stuff down here but see this was a flat and then it went down again and there's old stuff here but it's like you know i'm standing on the edge of the flat you see that's oh where i found that hut so, so, so it's at least 10 feet below me and this all had dirt on it i've thrown it over the hill i've taken this down a considerable bit a considerable amount in the last i don't know year and a half and there was just bottles thick in here for 10 15 feet marbles all through it it's just all of this can be dug i need to go back in here i probably should start in here and start taking it off and meet myself up there and go through this stuff meticulously because eh, i'd say down a couple feet here you can see all this stuff in here but i've raked through like this much of it i found so many marbles right in here so there has to be way better ones up there probably and there, I found crocs right in here where I'm standing. So there has to be crocs up there. So we're going to find some stuff. I'll be in this hole here tomorrow or the next day and get on another video. Just a continuation of this one. Later, folks. Let me get these. The marbles. I think that black one is a Jackson Marble Company. And Annie made two box cars of that. That blue marble with the bubbles in it is definitely handmade. Um, these are nice ones. You can see here what i'm up to and with these i'm getting a nice selection of stuff it's going to be a beautiful frame of marbles all different manufacturers you see i got another handful maybe get a more get another handful and you just do that for a month and you got a whole frame of marbles and they're valuable they're better than the bottles in my opinion because bottles break they just do i like these make masons they're pretty sturdy um but the bottles break, you know? How do you get to a bottle show and take your best bottles in the car? What if somebody rear ends you? It's just over. This stuff breaks. You just want to find it and put it up. That's what I did. Later.